another beautiful day. Oh, hey, Dr. Romano. So, see you here again. What, Hi, what are you are doing? You? I want to go over a problem today that is a challenging problem on acid base. There's some students that call it overkill. I actually know a dental student who tries to sell time test to kids who call my work overkill. But many of my students break 30. So why don't I show you what an overkill looks like? Come okay, on. Dr. Romano, I want to get a 30. It says here to find the pH of a 0.020 molar aluminum chloride solution. And the Ka is given as 1.3 to the minus 5 and they give you this species, aluminum with six waters attached to it. That in itself should give you a hint as to where to proceed. The first thing I do is to take the aluminum chloride and make it dissociate into aluminum ions and three chloride ions. Now, the aluminum ion is the thing that's going to react since I gave you the Ka of hydrated aluminum. So you're going to take aluminum plus three, and since the Ka tells you there's six waters, you put a six in front of it, and you form the aluminum water t six times plus three complex. Now, once you form the hydrated aluminum complex, all we're going to do is just treat it like you would normally do an acid-base reaction. You, you write the reaction, you break it down, it's going to break off into a hydrogen ion, and what's left over is going to be five waters. You, you lost an H from one of the waters, so it's an OH, and since this is a plus one, this has to be a plus two, since you get a plus three on both sides. So all we're going to do now is simply write the Ka is the products divided by the reactants, plug and chug. The Ka is given as 1.3 to the minus 5. You know no either one of these products, so call them both X. The denominator is what's left over, O2O minus X. We're going to assume that this little minus X is very small, so I'm going to negate it. So with this negated, I cross multiply square root and I solve for X. Now that we know that X is that's equal to the hydronium ion concentration minus the log of 5.1 to the minus 4. Well, if it was minus the log of 1 to the minus 4, it would be 4. But since this is a 5 here, the number would be less, or the answer would be less than 4. We're going to come down. For the DAT exam or the ODE, as long as you know that this answer has to be somewhere under 4, I think you're fine. Since this is a 5, we're going to come down quite a bit, and we estimate this as 3.3. In the Destroyer, I give you more practice on how to estimating logarithms. This is a question that a lot of kids come to me, and they're very confused on. So if it was minus the log of 1 to the minus 5, the answer is 5. But if it was two to the minus the log of 2 to the minus 5, it's going to be a little bit less than the 5. Since 2 is not that far from 1, the value would be about 4.7 or something like that. All right, I hope this helps. This was a tough problem, but add this to the arsenal, and we're in good shape for potentially getting a 30 in the gen chem section. But to get a 30 in the gen chem section, you got to be a little careful because some versions have more math than others. Some, some versions have theory. But if you can balance both of these, you'll be in good shape. Okay, Dr. Romano, thank you. I'm going to get that 30. I guess I need to get back to work. All right, good luck to you. Bye-bye. Bye. Good day to you, sir.